Technology fails, even the best iPhone and iPad can crash. Maybe your Bluetooth or Wi-Fi stops working, or you notice little glitches that can't be fixed when you restart your device. If your device is acting crazy and you want to restore the system to working order, this video will walk you through restoring from a backup. I'm Ellen from Ellen's Tips for iOS. I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It's essential that you back up your iPhone or iPad on a regular schedule. If you plug in your device at night and it's locked and connected to Wi-Fi, it will automatically back up. If you're a nerd like me, you might tend to check your backups more frequently and manually back them up. The first thing you need to do to restore your device is burn it down to the ground. That means erase and reset all of your content and settings. All of your data will be lost that isn't synced to iCloud or another service. So make sure you're backing up everything that's important to you. To check your backup settings, tap into the Settings app, tap on the iCloud banner, Tap on iCloud. Now tap on Manage Storage. And finally, tap on Backups. Whatever the device is that you're using, that's the device that you want to choose. So I'm using this iPhone. I'm going to tap on that. And here is the data that's being backed up to iCloud. You can scroll through all of your apps and decide which of those apps is important to you and that you want to back it up. And you can choose whether to toggle those switches on or off. To erase your device, tap into the Settings app, scroll to General, tap on General, scroll to the very bottom of the page, and you'll see Reset. Tap on Reset. And then here you're going to want to choose Erase All Contents and Settings. Tap on that and you will be prompted to back up one more time on your device before it's erased. Find My iPhone will be disabled, but don't worry, everything will come back to your device once you restore. I'll tap on Backup and then Erase and the iPhone will complete a backup. And now I'll be prompted to enter my passcode. I will do that. And now it's asking me if I'm sure I want to erase the iPhone. I do, I'll tap on erase iPhone. It's gonna ask me one more time because it wants to make sure this is really what you want to do. I'm going to tap Erase iPhone again. And now everything on my device is being erased. And then I'll show you how to restore your device. When you see the home screen, either tap on the screen or press on the home button to open. And then go ahead and select your language and your country or region. When you arrive at this screen, you'll want to choose Set Up Manually. Now choose your Wi-Fi network and enter your password. It may take a few minutes to activate uh, your device, and then this screen will appear, and just tap on Continue. And then you'll set up Touch ID or Face ID if you're on uh, a Face ID phone. I'm just going to say Set Up Touch ID later. And now we can create a passcode. And you can choose passcode options, and you'll have some other options available to you. I like to use just a four digit numeric code. So I'm going to tap on that. I'm going to enter my passcode. It will ask you to enter again. And now here you're into the apps and data where you are going to choose to restore from an iCloud backup. I'll select restore from iCloud backup 
and then you'll have to enter your uh, iCloud Apple ID and your password. If you have uh, a trusted device set up, another Apple device, and it will send a code, a verification code to that device, and you'll need to enter that code. So I'm going to go ahead and tap in that code. And it should recognize, and it does. And now you come to the terms and conditions, tap on agree. And it may take a few minutes to set up your Apple ID. We've now arrived at the backup option, and you can see that today at 1043, Ellen's iPhone, and it tells you this iPhone 7 was backed up. So that's the backup that I want to choose. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And I, when you get to this setting, I just hit continue. I do not customize the settings, so I'll tap continue. And now it should be starting to restore the backup. It's going to ask you to set up Apple Pay. I'm going to set that up later. And now it's going to ask you if you want to allow Apple to share your audio recordings so that it can prove Siri and dictation. I allow that. But when it comes to app analytics, I don't share that with developers. So I'm going to tap Don't Share. And now we're restoring from an iCloud backup. It will take some time for all of your data to download to the device, go for a walk, or read a book. If your problem hasn't been fixed, you may need to start from scratch with a clean install. The benefit of a clean install is it empties your iPhone or iPad of everything and resets it as if it were brand new. The bad news, you will start over completely loading all of your apps one at a time back on to the device. I've entered in my passcode, and as you can see, uh, my device is, is back to where it was prior to the restore. And if I tap on settings, you'll see it has a number one, and it's asking me to finish setting up my iPhone. And so if I tap on that, it's just going to let me know, I'm going to type in my passcode, that I need to set up Touch ID or Face ID and Apple Pay. Once you have everything back on your device the way you want, make sure you go back in and do a backup. Any questions on restoring your device, let me know in the comments section and I'll try to help you out. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.